Oh. 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 That's a lot more good than I thought. Yeah. And welcome to another episode of School Holiday Specials. Today we're here at Singapore's first and only gem museum. This three-story building is home to more than 700 minerals. You might be familiar with gems such as rubies, amethysts and opals. Join me on our science adventures today. Like and subscribe if you want to stay updated with this channel. I've always wondered where gems come from. So, how are gemstones formed? So, gemstones formed in rocks. On Earth, there are three types of rocks that we know of. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. Some of the examples are like quartz that forms in igneous rock, fossils that forms in sedimentary rocks, and sapphires, rubies, or jades that forms in metamorphic rocks. So I have a geode for you here. Oh cool! So how geodes are formed is when magma and lava cools underground, it leaves pockets behind. So when rainwater or hot spring fills up these pockets, it allows the crystals to grow inside the geo. Just aim at the same spot. You gently tap it first until it cracks, until it leaves a crack. Oh. Oh. oh okay. That's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. So this is where you come to work every day. What is this room for? So this is our gem laboratory. And this is a place where we study gemstones in greater details using instruments like the spectroscope and even the microscope as well. What did gemologists look for in a gem? So by using a microscope, we are able to see inclusions inside the gem. Inclusions such as crystals, fingerprints, fractures, all these inclusions help us to identify the nature of the stone. So the bubbles you see inside the gems, they are natural crystals that forms inside of the ruby. I've learned so much today about the science behind gemstones and I hope you have too. If you liked today's adventure, please give this video a like. See you in the next episode of School Holiday Specials. To find out more about gemstones, pick up these non-fiction books at our public libraries. You can find them under the call number J553.